Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, Law Murray on your TL. And I'm going to tell you now, this is the 2024 NBA Epitome Game Series, where I pick out one game from each team from the last regular season. I am putting the spotlight on the biggest weakness of the 14 teams that missed the playoffs and the biggest strength of the 16 playoff teams from the regular season. This installment features the LA Clippers. It was the last ride for the Clippers and the urgency intensified once they finally completed the James Harden trade going into November. LA was in a three and seven hole and riding a six game losing streak until James Harden was entrusted with starting point guard duties and Russell Westbrook was moved to the second unit. By December, the Clippers were on a nine game win streak and they briefly reached the top of the West in early February, overwhelming opponents offensively. As usual, that peak version of the team didn't make it to the playoffs. Kawhi Leonard returned to All-NBA status, but his knee restricted him to two limited playoff games, and All-Star Paul George wasn't able to help the Clippers maintain home court advantage as they lost in six to the fifth seed Dallas Mavericks in the West quarterfinals, marking the third year in a row that the Clippers failed to win a playoff series and the fourth year in a row that Leonard did not play in the game that the Clippers were eliminated in. The epitome game for the Clippers came at Chicago in March, the front end of a back-to-back. -back. We already featured this game earlier in the series due to Chicago's absent-minded defense on the perimeter, but there is more to show about how good the Clippers were offensively inside the arc, even without point guards Harden and Westbrook. The first shot that Paul George made in this game was the fast break layup. Every shot after his last 10 shots was outside of the paint. PG, one of the best mid-range shooters in the league, only five players attempted more mid-range shots and shot them at a better percentage than Paul George. Now, the Clippers were the most isolation-heavy team in the league, but that's not the only way that they were able to get to their spots. Kawhi Leonard comes off a screen, gets to the point in the paint outside the restricted area where only Nikola Jokic took more shots than Leonard and shot them at a high percentage. Avitsa Zubas was not heavily involved in this game. Chicago is a pack-to-paint defense, but this is an ATO where Zubas screens to get Paul George open and then sets a ball screen and rolls, gets the pass from George, and once again, in that spot in the paint outside the restricted area, Zoo is proficient there. The Bulls had spent most of this game double-teaming aggressively. So Kawhi Leonard is one-on-one -on -one with Torrey Craig. He heads to the baseline, which is away from DeMar DeRozan's attempt to double, and gets to that mid-range spot, hits it, and that was pretty much the dagger. The Clippers ran more isolations than any team in the NBA last season, and they were proficient at it. There was no team that scored more points out of isolations than the LA Clippers last season. The Clippers shot 60% from the field, 50% from three, and made 23s in Chicago, the only game all season where LA reached all three marks. Only the Suns and Thunder shot better from both the field and from three than the Clippers last season. The Clippers were the only team to lose an All-Star this all season, with George moving on to Philadelphia after five seasons with the Clippers. Westbrook was also traded after picking up his player option. Leonard was extended, and Harden was resigned. So they will be the face of the team as the Clippers open into it though. Derek Jones Jr. replaces George and Dunn replaces Westbrook. And Nikola Batum returns after being traded to Philadelphia in the hard entry. LA is going to need to improve the defense if they are going to extend their league leading consecutive winning season streak to 14 years. Stay tuned for the next installment of the 2024 NBA Epitome Games series featuring the Orlando Magic.